welcome back to the next episode of Persona 5. It's hot pot time! Yo! I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. I'm looking forward to it, as you should be. Food always tastes better with friends. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. She is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Aww. There's a huge pot of curry here. This seems to be the store's specialty. Let's get that pot. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though, just be careful with the fire, okay? I don't like how much how good Sojo is being with my friends here. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Alright, dinner with the Najimas! Alright! his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, Makoto's... A bit bland. Makoto's gonna see me praising the Phantom Thieves on TV. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. It really hasn't, Makoto. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Sai cares about Makoto, but she's putting so much pressure on who Makoto needs to be that it's stunting who Makoto is right now. Now? Yes? Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. Ryuji, you got caught on camera saying that? What do I want to do? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady An. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some- I'm about to push Morgana off the seat. to borrow the sofa it's yours what's wrong Yusuke god we haven't finished our meal what about the porridge or even udon just leave it for next time man <sighs> she's asleep already It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. 
On rules. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Yeah, hanging out with a boy Yusuke. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Okay, well I have a criminal record. So you got nothing to lose, huh? Alright, I'll tell ya. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, Nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Okay, here's my story. I want to see them get righteously. A yep. Damn brat. It is that guy. I was sure he I had hair, but no, that's the guy. God damn, I was waiting for this flashback to come up again. I thought, is it the guy I pushed over? And it's like, no, I don't want to check the episode. I'll wait till it comes up again. I was sure I remembered him having hair. Nope. That's the damn guy. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? <gasps> Thanks, Pulse. But... This is bullshit. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. That is some shit. Listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. She didn't really have a good that choice. Man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I know who he is. This guy doesn't. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. 
Identifying that man will prove difficult. I can't believe Arn was asleep for the entire time we got my backstory. Unless Besides, she woke up the for it. already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it. This world is so messed up. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, she's awake. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you okay, guys. Okay, Arn's got my history too. That's good. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. You don't know that for sure. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. Am I detecting a Morgana rank? What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? Hey Zoid. Evil Art Man did indeed confess his crimes. I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Hmm. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. Son! If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Yeah, I also got really surprised by Yusuke's voice, but I like it. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Aw, leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Ryuji, please. What kind of nickname is that? Mm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Wow, only Morgana gets a good night? What about me, at least? I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Morgana, stop being horny. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. Just Arn's three dudes out. sitting. <laughs> Arn's missing out. Just three dudes sitting one foot away from each other to show they're not gay. It's a bit hot though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. I mean, she's awesome. I like her a lot. She's a great teammate. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. No, oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. 
About that, though, is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. He's so pale. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still. Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> that was some good voice acting there. I enjoyed that. Hello, Yusuke. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I will be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. <sighs> I'm gonna protect my sleeping beauty no matter what it takes. But I'm still <gasps> awake. Not talking about you. Wait, don't you just drop on me. Can I talk? Either you guys need to get stronger or leave Lady Anne's safety to me. If there's one Phantom Thief creed you should remember, it's that you need to protect the ones you love. Hey! Can I talk? Hmm. I enjoy going to a bathhouse every once in a while. The hot water is quite relaxing. Hmm. We'll discuss the word going around today, around town to help keep you in the know. Today we cover Phantom Crew. They have high appeal among young people and are said to be involved in Mr. Matarame's confession. Their methods are unknown and many are voicing their concern that this group may be dangerous, but it seems a lot of people have started talking about the Phantom Thieves. Nice. I should write cool. something. All right, the next day is Sunday, so it's our day to do whatever we want. Cool, cool, cool. Well, you needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. All right, bedtime. Oh, okay. Time for another full rank then. Excellent, I'm cool with that. 10 persona, I can have 10 persona now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. I still can't believe I don't have a confidant with Yusuke. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society, in other words, your picaresque, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Boom, boom, boom! Full rank five, super stock, ten persona. All right, I love it. I feel strong. It's almost time. Almost time for what? For what, my dude? Nineteen percent justice. Sunday. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? This is a meeting of the minds. You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. 
Who? Who are victims? Criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. Shut down, Makoto! So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Oh yeah, show me the uh, villains you've revealed! Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Okay, so use your natural-born talents to out Kamashita and Matarame. Oh, wait! Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Wow, what a prick! Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Oh, poor Makoto. I want her part of my friend's circle immediately. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. I like you scale a lot. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. Sotra really likes my friend's circle. I feel good about this. My dad approves. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. It looks good. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. This Thank is you good. For the coffee. I feel good about this. My heart feels good. I'll come again. Finally awake! Where's Yusuke? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You up? You're finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. How nice of him. Hmm. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, 
but the expression on her face... The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Okay. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Alright, let's go! Day on the town! Beep, beep, beep. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojuro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I was simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna hear about that again. Hey, hey. So, Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, guess that's for the best. More messages! Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think it means those burglars where, when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too, isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Though how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police would probably nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants... Ah, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way, who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for the boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. That's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? Eh, yeah, later. <laughs> My body needs sweets. Well, we'll respond to that in a little bit. Firstly, however, it is indeed a Sunday, and y'all know what that means. This guy. I want to fool my confidant with him already. It's time to get juiced! What do you want? Vitality Algero. Gives you the proficiency. It's for my health. Excellent. Right. Now then, confidant. He said that deepening bonds with society's outcasts would lead to more power. At rank 6 I get high Arcana Burst. Increases the XP bur bonus granted by Arcana Burst. That would be handy. And... Second Awakening's coming up. A catchy. A third year high school detective from another school. He looks for the culprit of the psychotic breakdowns. He stated the Phantom Thieves should be tried by the law and that he is helping the police. The ability is unknown! Wow. I know where this is going, but still. Uh, 
Alright, that's gonna bring this episode to a close. Next episode, more peaceful days. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.